Caddis Maxos here. Quick review of this American-made Vermont American thread file. Yes, surprisingly enough, there is something that's made by Vermont American. More than likely, not. It's just rebranded. It just happens to actually be an American product. Now, this thread files or thread files in general always seem to look the same. I don't know if they're actually all made by the same company. I have one from Napa that I can't find. I can also find or have, I should say, these standard uh, new thread versions, NU thread. Here we go. We have these new threads, and then they're also numbered. So these are the, the nice ones that I know of. I actually bought these from uh, MSC, which is an industrial supply. So, but I saw this Vermont American and thought, well, this is pretty neat. We'll take a look at this one. But I was noticing some things. It isn't made as well as the new threads. I was noticing, well, it has a little break right there, which isn't, you know, or a little broken corner, which isn't so bad. But I started looking at it, and you can see that there's, like right here, it's particularly bad. Same with the focus on this camera. We can see a bunch of the corners are broken off. This is actually something that is just a result of not very good quality control during manufacturing. How we know that is if we really look closely, you can see how it's all blackened on the broken corners. So these were broken during manufacturing and then it was uh, heat treated. With this thin edge, when they're cutting these teeth on this bar, on higher quality ones, say we've got the 10 there, if we compare to the new thread, you can see what the new thread does is that they know it's going to be thin and it's going to break, so they actually intentionally machine off that thin little edge there. And so that's one of the differences of a much higher quality one versus, say, this Vermont American. And even though these are both American made, I was actually pretty surprised to see that because I assume they're all made in the same factory. And so they may be, and these just may be lower quality uh, ones that are now resold to other manufacturers and only the good ones are actually stamped a new thread. Or indeed, this is made somewhere else. But it was kind of proven the example. Some people have said, and I also agree with that, Vermont American is an okay tool company, but they've always been kind of the budget brand. Anyway, the whole point to thread files, and the reason I even mention this is because you may run into this somewhere, and these are still useful, even a lower-grade Vermont American. The whole idea with these thread files, I have a 16-pitch here, is one, they're sold in a variety of, uh, or in a number of varieties. You have fine pitch, you have machine thread, and then you have coarse thread ones. Of course, metric as well. They're just pitches. They are very hard files, and then they just have these teeth, which are spaced at standard thread pitches. So we'll go ahead and take the 16 thread. I have a 3816 bolt here. And the idea is you may have a bolt such as this, and we'll see how well it works. Pretty dinged up. You need to reuse it, but the threads are just so dinged up that you can't get it threaded in or it's just galling as it's going. So you use a thread file. You want to be careful to be at a slight angle here. And then you just use the thread file to go along the threads and try to fix them up. That's exactly what this is doing. You're not cutting the threads. All you're doing is taking like the little dings and burrs that you can see in here and just trying to cut them off so that the nut will still, uh, fa uh, excuse me, thread onto there. It's kind of difficult to do in your hand. It's much easier if the bolt is held, say, in a vise or something. But that's all it is, is you just take the, the corner of it and just go along as you roll the bolt and tr basically hope and pray <laughs> that it will remove the dings. And part of the issue with these is the fact that when you're filing with them, you can just see a little bit of light under there. These are designed to be a little bit short. They don't reach the very root of the thread, although they can work pretty well for cleaning out threads. You just do something like this. This is moving pretty smoothly through here, so it's not catching a whole lot of the burrs that are preventing that nut from going on. But we'll see if just doing a little bit of motion like this, these can be handy in place. If you have a fastener such as this, we have a bunch of thread sticking out past and it's really rusty. You can use one of these to actually clean the rust right out of the depths of the threads. It, actually, it does work pretty well. So even doing that, I'm not sure if that will really make it much easier to get this knot on. And unfortunately, it doesn't. And that's always kind of been my experience with thread files. They've, they're definitely handy, but I don't use them that often, mainly because of the same issue. You, you know, you can really go at threads. We know we have the right one. 
fits in there nicely. It's just the fact that they're they're not designed to fully restore the threads because they make them a slightly narrower, so you're less likely to actually cut off a good thread and more to get rid of burrs. But because of that, even the tiniest, some very small burrs will still remain. And it's always kind of been the most, once again, the disappointment with these is you can do that. And many times it only helps somewhat. And I think that's really the reason why you don't hear about or see thread files that often is the fact that they're only somewhat, uh, I should say, effective. And it's always kind of been the disappointment. I mean, most of this bolt, this file will run just, just fine through, but it's the burrs are still more than enough to make this nut very difficult to thread on. And so really, I just keep them just for emergency situations where you, you know, that's all you can do is try to remove the burrs and then just force the, thra the fastener in there knowing that it's not as bad as it was. The other thing is under certain situations where you're just doing a normal filing operation, this is a toothed file. So you can use a coarse side and actually just remove a ton of material very quickly, just be kind of like a very compact bastard file, uh, just because you have a very aggressive tooth pattern. So that's half the reason I have these, this isn't just for actually fixing up threads like they're intended, but to have a very narrow very aggressive file when you just want to remove a lot of material quickly anyway kind of my funky video about uh, thread this vermont american thread file and thread files in general is that they're one of those things where uh even though the idea is great and they generally do work they don't they are not perfect and because they have a big concern of making them a really tight fit and you just actually machining away the threads they make a little bit of extra clearance the problem with that extra clearance is it makes it a less effective tool. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.